This is my cheat sheet for Monday, December the 5th. Could lie detection go mainstream? The U.S. Air Force has perfected software that they're using for their own military purposes now that uh, just by detecting a message in a software program can detect whether one is lying or telling the truth with 70% accuracy. They're going to take what they have now, continue to refine it, you know, even in some TV shows anymore, like, you know, the paranormal type shows and that type of thing, they use screening software to try to figure out if a witness is credible or not to move forward in investigating their claims. Obviously, this has been something that, you know, from the CIA to the FBI, they've been using for years. Uh, but the ability for it to be a software program means that it could go everywhere we do. For example, our computers, our smartphones. So we could be within, uh, say, a couple of years of lie detection going mainstream. You think your friend's lying? Think your wife's lying? Smartphone in pocket, press button, and let her go. I am all about telling the truth. I appreciate the extent to which this could help us determine those around us that are lying. But if there is still a margin of error, could you imagine the implication for those who think it's gospel and thus make decisions based upon what software on a phone ended up saying anyway it's interesting and uh, i don't think it's going to go away i think it's only going to come so uh, we'll keep you on track with that meanwhile best and worst run states of 2011 guess what in florida we're somewhere in between but the best run states number three north dakota number two nebraska number one wyoming Something to be said for flyover country, isn't there? This was a study by Wall Street 24-7, a research firm uh, that ended up making their determinations for the best and worst run states using the amount of debt per capita, the overall health of its citizens, poverty, and unemployment. So again, your top three run states for 2011, North Dakota, Nebraska, Wyoming. So on the flip side, where are the single worst run states in this country right now? Number 47, or I'm sorry, 48, Michigan. Number 49, Illinois, and the left coast, all the way to California, is the worst-run state for 2011. By the way, I can't help but to, to notice some of the political differences here in the way these states are run. Just saying. Hey, um, number one reason we spend time online as adults. Make ourselves more productive, to learn, to research. How about to waste time? Turns out that about 70% of all the time we spend online, as adults, not the kids, is spent wasting time. Hmm. All right, that's my cheat sheet for today. We shall see you tomorrow.